you have a God who works through the workings of human history so that he can bring about his climactic purposes. There is a creation that is damaged, human beings who are broken. And so what we see God moving to is bringing about a restoration of relationships, a restoration of the creation. And so when Jesus comes, he is one who is, in a sense, the fulfillment of the greatest hopes and aspirations of the loftiest traditions that human beings have, the greatest philosophies, the greatest stories, the greatest epic narratives. Jesus is the one who fulfills the greatest ideals in all of them, claiming to be the very incarnation of the one true God. And in his death on the cross, what we see is that Jesus, in the place of God, is saying that I'm willing to go to the lowest point of dying naked, a shameful death on the barbaric Roman cross, sinking to the lowest possible point, being willing to suffer injustice, cruelty, and evil, so that human beings might be restored to their relationship with God. So we see God coming to the very lowest point in order that human beings might not have to endure that low point. Jesus endures shame. He endures hostility. He endures betrayal. But it is for the sake of humankind that he does so.